Good afternoon, people watching my 65, Lisa Voice. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, that Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works. Least any man should boast. Least any man should boast. It's not of ourselves or works. It is grace that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. That's the gospel, period. We come to him by believing. He gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. That's the gospel. Once you accept Christ as Savior, the Holy Spirit indwells in you. You are saved and sealed until the day of redemption. The rapture is fast approaching. Very quickly. We're in the hour. We just don't know the day. I'm going to give you this article. And you will never lose your salvation. So, This article is off of Now the End Begins. And this, after signing... On to the Abraham Accords, the nation of Om Omar tells new government in Israel it's time to implement the two-state solution. So, uh, Oman Bidar al Basadi, however you pronounce his name spoke by phone to Israeli's uh, foreign minister, Yair uh, Lapid, according to ONEA, the state news agency of Oman, which has a long-standing policy of neutrality in the turbulent region as often acts as a mediator. Now, Oman urges Israel to create independent Palestinian state. Jeffrey is funny. He goes on to say, now come on. Did you really think that the Muslims were making peace with Israel? To make peace with Israel? Your King James Bible says otherwise. And it does, most definitely. In the definitive article, from, biblical, uh, from a biblical perspective, the whole point of the Abraham Accords is to bring Israel to the doorstep of their soon coming Daniel 927 moment. Also, no surprise that Oman tells its Israel they're going to want to have East Jerusalem as the capital of the new Palestinian state. It's also been about Jerusalem, the city of the great king. Listen to what um, he wrote here in uh, Luke 21, 20 through 22. And when you shall see Jerusalem compass with armies, compassed with armies, then know that the desolation is thereof. It's nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out. And let not them that are in the countries enter there into. For these be the days of vengeance. This is talking about the tribulation. And that all things which are written may be fulfilled. This is talking about the tribulation and what's coming right there. The Muslim nation of Oman is now politely requesting that the new government of Israel in Israel seriously considers that it might be time to create the two-state solution. Now, Bennett, from what I understand, he don't want to do that, but money talks. And you know what walks. He a cave in. Of course he's going to cave in. Not only because of that, but because the Bible says he will. He a cave in. Absolutely. Funny how that works, eh? 
It goes on to say the end times Abraham accords is the gift that keeps on giving and will continue to do so even after we are removed in the pre-tribulation rapture of the church, which is soon approaching. This is why I give the gospel so that you can get saved. That's the only way to be prepared for what's coming, is to be saved. Israel, it says, oh Israel, oh Israel, you have no idea what's coming. This is from the Jerusalem Post here. He has the article here as well. It says, Omar Badar al Basadi spoke by phone to Israel's foreign minister, Yair Lepid, according to the ONA, the state news agency. To split Jerusalem, basically. It says, um, Lepid will travel to the United Arab Emirates next week. Excuse me, in the first official visit by an Israeli minister to the Gulf states since they established diplomatic relations. He will inaugurate the uh, Israeli embassy in Abu Dhabi and the consulate general of Israel in Dubai. If you don't see that the rapture is about to happen, something's wrong. Not with you, not with me, but with you. The rapture is about to happen very quickly. They want to split. You know what? And it's amazing that all this is happening right before our eyes. I said that before. This is great news for the church, but not for Israel. Because they have no clue what's about to happen. And even if you told them, they wouldn't believe you. So what do you do? Do like I do. Give the gospel. Give the gospel. That's all you can do. And pray that they accept it. Because if they don't accept, what was them? I'm going to link this article in the description box. I thought it was interesting. And I will be back with the next video. Folks, it's time to wake up. We don't have 10 years. And I'd be willing to put my life on it. We don't have 10 years. We don't, we don't even have probably a year. I doubt if we have six months. Things are happening. Let me explain something to you. And let me tell you how the spirit is shifting. We have seen... I've been out just about every day. There have been accidents or near misses out of the blue. People are driving erratically. It's like there is a spirit on these people. My husband went to uh, therapy today, this morning. And let me tell you what happened here. This is how crazy people are getting. Some lady blocked traffic in the middle of the street, walking, knocking on people's doors, car doors, to let her in. She almost got hit twice. This, uh, Kevin said a truck came out of nowhere and almost hit her. Knocking in the middle of the street on people's car doors to let her in. People have lost whatever is left of their minds. And you could feel it out there. It's a spirit. Now, do you honestly think we're, we are so close to the rapture, it's not even funny. With everything that is happening, we're seeing it. We are seeing it. I couldn't believe when he told me that. There was some woman out there in the middle of the street knocking on people's car. And you can't say, well, maybe she was in this threat. No, because there's a hospital right there. There's a gas station right there. So she was not in distress. She was crazy. 
If something was wrong, she could have went to the hospital, which was right there. She could have went to the gas station and made a phone call. She, our, we, I live in a suburb. I live in a two-bedroom uh, apartment in a suburb of Cleveland. There are cops everywhere over here. People are crazy. And this is happening more and more and more. This, why, this is why I'm a mother. When Cody got his license, it was a bittersweet moment. And I know you moms know what I'm talking about if you have teenagers. I have another one I got to deal with. Hopefully we'll be gone by the time he tries to get his license. This is why I tell people, especially if you have kids and teenagers, when your kids go out of your sight, you better pray over them. Because you don't know what's out there. These people are nuts. We have no clue what's out there. And for your child to be driving or even out of your sight, you better pray. And I mean pray over your kids when they're gone from you because it is some nutcases out there. And Cody's like, oh, Ma, you don't have to worry. But no, I'm not worried about him. I'm worried about the people beside him and in front of him. Anyway, I'm going to link this article in the description box. Folks, it's time to wake up. We, we don't have long here. We might be gone tomorrow. We might be gone next month. But this chapter is closing. There is an expiration date on this. And it soon expired. I'm just saying, don't let no one tell you that we got another 10, 15, 20 years here. Oh, this is just going to change. Everything's going to go back to no, it's not. There is no going back to nowhere. It's going to get worse and we're seeing it before our eyes. And a lot of people don't want to say, don't want to admit this. There's a lot of Christians. There are some Christians that don't want the rapture. I'm just saying because they're afraid and that's sad because that is the very thing I've been looking forward to even before I knew grace the book the first book of the Bible that I opened up and read hardly understood it but I read it was Revelation they said no no don't read that go to John no I read Revelation I embraced it with open arms and been doing it ever since. And now, now looking back, I see why we couldn't be raptured back then. But looking at all of this that's taking place right now, according to the Bible, yeah, this is perfect. Perfect timing. I see it more than ever now. Anyway, I'm going to link this article in the description box and I'll be back with the next video. Thank you.